Hey guys, it's Bubba here. In this video, we're taking a look at something a little different than what we typically take a look at here in this channel. In this video, we're taking a look at El Russo's Virtual XP. Now, this is something that's existed for quite a long time. In fact, you can see four years, but a viewer recommended it to me in my last video's comment section, and I'm very eager to take a look at it. I actually have never heard of a project like this, so I'm so glad we were able to stumble across it. Essentially, it, this is summed up right here. Virtual XP is Windows XP running directly in your web browser. No, this does not stream pixels from another device like an RDP session. No, this is not running a VM on your computer and bringing the pixels back to the browser. This is Windows XP running completely in the web browser, which really just shows how far we've come in technology that we had Windows XP 20 years ago running on physical hardware. Now web browsers are so powerful that they're able to basically run a VM for Windows XP. So again, there is a GitHub page for this with all of the source code. I just think this is so incredible that someone was able to do this. We scroll down here, there are some, you know, how to edit the registry, things like that, some more details. Uh, this is, of course, for educational purposes only. And the other thing here is that Virtual XP is a modified version of Halfix, which I've actually never heard of before, um, which is essentially a x86 emulator written in C99, run legacy operating systems on modern platforms. So yeah, it looks like, so this is probably the core of what we're actually using, it seems like. But that's enough about this. Again, huge credit to El Russo for making this. I mean, this is a, I can't imagine this was easy to pull off. So all we'll do to actually launch the VM is click this link right here. And remember, we're fully in a web browser right now. We are now booting Windows XP setup directly in our web browser. So we'll boot into this, we'll go through the setup process and we'll see what the experience actually is like. I mean, how fast is the operating system, right? I mean, we're booting in a web browser. How fast could it be? Um, and we'll see what it's like. So the first thing I'm noticing is that obviously our cursor is a little bit slow. But again, remember, this is a web browser. I'm assuming it's going to bring us straight into the out of, not the out-of-box experience, but I don't actually know what it's going to do. I don't know if this is a pre-setup version of this OS or if we have to go through like an out-of-box experience sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I'm going to give this some time to boot. It is taking quite a long time, but uh, I'm going to give this some time to boot and we'll be back once something happens. All right, and here we are in the desktop of Virtual XP, again, running in our web browser. We can see that we're using the classic theme. We're not actually using the Luna theme, which is pretty cool. On the desktop, we just have by default our standard blue wallpaper. We'll see if we can change that in just a little bit. We then have my computer, which I see it started to lag. Perfect. And it did open though. And then we have my documents. So it seems like whenever we do something, the OS lags. Um, not too concerned about that though. Then down here in the taskbar, we have our system clock where the time is not actually correct at all. I just looked at that time. I didn't even see it. It says September 1992. Um, okay. And then over here on the left side of the taskbar, we of course have our start menu. That is currently blank right now but we should see, yep, Windows XP Professional. Uh, in programs, we have literally like no accessories. We have nothing in our startup folder, no documents, very minimal settings, search, help run and support, um, and then shut down. Nothing too crazy. Again, this is like, this is like Tiny 10, but brought back to Windows XP. I don't actually know if this was a custom version that this developer made for Virtual XP, some like extremely lightweight version that was already out there. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and see, do we have task manager? We do. Let's see the specs of this virtual web machine. Let's go to performance and we can see that we have, let's see, here are our specs. So we are using page file, 137 megs of our page file, which is almost full. Um, we are using 5% of the CPU. I'd be interested to know how many cores um, this actually has. I don't know what it's basing off of, probably some preset thing in the background. Uh, as we saw earlier in my computer, we saw two volumes, neither of which are a C drive. We have Virtual XP, which is our X drive, which is an ISO. And then we have the RAM disk, which is our B drive, which appears to be where stuff is being stored. So Virtual XP, the ISO, is probably, I mean, here's my guess, is what it's booting off of. So it's booting this and then loading it all into RAM on the RAM disk that's created on your machine. 
So RAM disk 64 megs, which is actually very tiny. The ISO itself is actually 43.4 megs, which is probably the smallest Windows ISO I think I've ever seen in my life, uh, which is actually impressive, honestly. Um, let's go into my computer, go to properties. Let's see if we set Windows XP Professional 2002, 192 megs of RAM. Um, I'm going to open Device Manager. It doesn't exist anymore. Okay, they took it out. Uh, does any of this exist? Okay, yeah, there's still some stuff here. Yeah, it's all there. Let's go ahead into, I'm curious, if I go to Network Connections. Yep, it's gone. Do we even have a control panel? Okay, we do, um, but it's very minimal. So let's see if we can actually customize this custom version of Windows. So let's go ahead and go to Personalize. We can't change the background because we don't have any backgrounds, but we can pick different colors if we you know, so wanted to. Uh, for example, green, but we'll go back with the regular blue, wherever it may be. I don't know if I can get back to the regular blue, but there, there's Windows 95 blue. We'll go with that. Screen saver, there are none. Uh, as for appearance, we can only pick Windows Classic style. We can't even revert back to Luna, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping we would be able to go back. Um, and then under settings, there's nothing too out of the ordinary. So let's go ahead and can we change the resolution at all? I can change the resolution. I can move it up to 1024 by 768, but I think I just broke the VM. Wait. Yeah, I just broke the VM. Okay, so don't try that uh, is the lesson learned there. Well, with that being said, we're now back in the operating system. Lesson learned, don't try to uh, change the resolution. Uh, I am noticing that the time is different, so I'm curious if, okay, it's still September 1992, but the time is now 2.44 p.m., so it changed time during that reboot. But with that being said, this was a brief overview of virtual XP. Definitely something very interesting, and I didn't even know something that like this was possible until a viewer recommended this to me. So if you have any other custom projects or videos that you want me to take a look at, please let me know down in the comments below because I love doing viewer recommended videos. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.